I'm Peter Hook and you are in the newly demolished area of the old factory building. Uh, down here on the ground floor was where the offices were. This is where I used to have my meetings with Phil Sachs over here in the corner. And it seems very, very odd and watch your foot in. <laughs> seems very odd to uh, see it like this. I mean, the idea is to keep the nice bits and the interesting bits that Ben Kelly did and hopefully use them to produce a visually stunning exterior and interior, which will be interesting. As you can see, we've got a lot of work to do, but it is coming through and um, the builders, if you can believe a builder, tell me it will all be ready in time for the 29th. And this is the uh, middle floor. This was where all the accountants used to sit. And it always used to amaze me that factory actually had more accountants and they had bands and still lost all that fucking money and there you go <laughs> and then up to the uh, floor that to my mind has changed the least actually this is the uh, conference floor but the 30 foot factory table used to hang from the corner and fill the whole room and it was where we used to have our meetings and there was a little seated area here where, uh, if you were very lucky, you used to get your one-to-ones with Tony. And I remember getting one one-to-one -one when he gave me a right fucking bollocking. Oh, God, them were the days, eh? <laughs> so, no, this has changed the least. This is where um, we'll be doing the Hacienda nights, actually, which I'm very excited about. We're planning that. We're going to do a Hacienda Presents Saturday night. Up here, a load of old friends and a load of new friends. So, there you go. Same floor, cost a fucking fortune. So the offices were all windows before, so it used to be a, this used to be the distribution centre of what was Factory Records, so these were all windows, so we've got to acoustically block up all these windows. Um, there's now residential across the road at the hotel and immediately behind there's a load of apartments. Uh, the building in the past has had a load of sound problems that we need to address, obviously a nightclub makes a lot of sound uh, and the sound that we're bringing in here is colossal. Uh, designed specifically for this room by a function one, but we've got to make sure the envelope can contain that noise. We're doing that with these special high density concrete acoustic blocks uh, insulated behind and then overboarded with sound block um, to enhance the, the sound quality of the shell. Well, this is actually the original beams that uh, held up the, um, the original Ben Kelly building. This room would have originally been used for the storing of um, all factory records archives um, in terms of the, the records, the vinyl, the CDs, which are obviously when you've got a room full of vinyl, it's really heavy weight. So these massive big RSJs came in. Because we want to put a stage at this end, we had to jack that beam up into the roof in order to give enough uh, headline and site clearance so you could actually see the bands play. Uh, in order to do that, we had to cut out these massive big timber joists, which these are, and support that with, um, with a new RSJ. Uh, hook is just nicked the other two beams and uh, we should make sure he gets these ones too. Uh, unfortunately I've got a broken ankle at the moment really, um, which isn't the most suitable for hopping around a building site and everything and certainly uh, obviously the Manchester weather uh, at the moment is uh, making life a little bit more difficult so I'll be slightly careful where where I'm putting my crutches and everything, but uh, yeah, we're battling on. Yeah, we've got some uh, big live acts for the opening Friday and Saturday, and obviously DJs and yeah, quite a few little surprises in store. So it should be a should be a massive weekend. Manchester is a sort of vibrant city, really, and we're looking to hopefully bring a, a wicked club to the people of Manchester. Uh, we've got you know full week programming really, so we're going to be open sort of Monday through to Sunday, uh, all with different nights. Um, catering for different markets, obviously indie rock and roll every Friday, Saturday, also indie rock and roll on Wednesday night, and then um, we've got some different sessions in there, sort of Monday, Tuesday, uh, aiming at slightly different sort of markets really, and uh, with different music policies on, so like you say, everything will be unveiled the next couple of weeks, so uh, like you say, I'm sure there's something for everybody really with what we're, what we're doing at Factory. Hi, this is uh, Steve Jones, um, he's the uh, sound engineer and manager of the castle in Oldham, um, in his, in his spare time. He's also the, um, he's been, he just recently come back on tour with Twisted Wheel where he's uh, toured the world with Oasis um, with a support band Twisted Wheel and we've kind of convinced him um, to do all the electrics on this job. Yeah, so rather than touring with Oasis, I'm stuck in here in the snow in January, covered in crap, rewiring, making an office building 
in a three-floor nightclub. Well, I think for the size of it, it's going to be the best in Manchester. So, and I haven't just got to say that. I am, you know, I honestly believe that. I think Manchester's been crying out for a club like this for years. Uh, well, basically, I've sort of worked with Steve for nearly a decade now. For me, crimes in a past life, I suppose. I think it's going to be really good. Uh, I'm pretty much getting given carte blanche to do what I want with the lights, so I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, just the premises itself and the history it's steeped in. It's been symbolic in Manchester's music history and 20 years since it's ended. The Manchester, Manchester scene, especially, it'll be back and bigger, better, badder than ever. I'm Steve Lester. I'm the safe foreman. Um, but Two and a half weeks to go till the opening night. As you can see, it's still a building site. We're going to work all the hours, cut sense to get it finished. Put all the original features back into the building. It's got the opening, open foyer. All the original floors are going, get sanded up, uh, be all polished up. Uh, so all the brick walls will be shown. The entrance will be the same. So when it was originally designed, we should have all them original features back in. Uh, we're up here in the boardroom of what used to be Factory Communications Limited. Uh, I was up here yesterday with Ben Kelly, who's um, uh, redesigning this whole space, and we, we talked long and hard about what we could do up here, and we just think it should be retained as much as possible. There's so much history in these walls. I mean, if you can imagine what the conversations that were going on in here, with the, uh, the demise of Factory and the, the peak of the Manchester period, you know, it all happened in this office. A massive big table, uh, Tony Wilson's famous 20 grand table at the Happy Mondays then kind of sat on and broke on the very first night. But you can imagine some of the conversations and some of the history that went on in this room. We've got um, the entrance of what will be the new club. Um, interesting story about this, when the building was originally designed as Factory Records head office, the sill height that you're seeing above at the top was um, would originally have been at, at a more human level. What Ben Kelly did originally was jack that up and these two cobalt panels of um, glazed brick that you see down the sides kind of cauterized that wound of the old building and the new building that then came became the gateway to what was Factory Records head office at the peak of the Manchester music period. So that's it, the former Factory Records head office to be turned back into a nightclub, Fact 251, the original Factory Records catalogue number. In a little over two and a half, three weeks time, we'll be opening this as a venue. Seems like a lot of work at the moment, but we're pretty sure we'll pull it off. Stay tuned over the next couple of weeks on the website and we'll uh, keep you updated.